Juilliard collaboration at uh, Windsor Prep has been really helpful um, and inspiring by off offering these unique lessons um, where we get to learn about more complex sort of musical techniques. I remember last year in my um, Ivy Music class, we learned about how Beethoven kind of grouped his measures together in these more complex um, rhythmic structures. And um, these sort of like innovative lessons have really helped me grow as a musician and uh, as a composer as well. One really cool thing that the Juilliard collaboration allows um, us to have is we have performing artists that are professionals come to the school and not only do we get to experience their fantastic music, they also get to share their insight that they've learned um, as their journey as professional musicians, which has been really inspirational and helpful. This lesson actually is about Beethoven. We have these core works in the Juilliard curriculum called, uh, well, they're called core works, but this one is Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. This is the scherzo from it, and there's two different themes. There's uh, the first theme and the second theme. The first theme you can see is pianissimo, okay, it's kind of smooth. The second theme you can see here is fortissimo, and it's very separated and jagged sounding. It's very forceful, okay? So listen to these different parts of the piece, how Beethoven moves from one part to the next. You hear this, the soft theme that's very smooth. Just try it. You're not being great. It's okay. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So, and so you started loud, got louder, and then got soft. So, that's exactly what you did. We are so fortunate here at Windermere Prep to be in this collaboration with Juilliard. We have many opportunities, like we get to see core, core works that we wouldn't have been able to see if we were in this collaboration. It's a great opportunity for our students here. And we also get access to see live performances. We'll have guest artists come in and, and teach us new things. And it really helps us with our, our minds and how we develop as artists ourselves. So one of the best things about the Juilliard collaboration is how it acts sort of as a supplemental to the rest of the lesson that takes it onto a new level of understanding. It's one thing to learn about classical music and the various elements of it, but for example, one of the things we do a lot because of the Juilliard lessons is we have these interactive, almost mini compositional assignments that, that, really, help it, that really help the lesson be less about taking notes and rote memorization and more understanding, which benefits not only you know, the, the smaller assignments and the tests, but also the IB test itself, it really helps to answer listening questions. And you don't have to dedicate a bunch of time to memorizing things because now you understand it on like a compositional level. And it's really interesting for me because I get to like explore all kinds of different choreography that I'm not used to and it allows me to expand like my realm of knowledge through dance. And um, the one that we're doing recently is really exciting because we actually get a Juilliard mentor. He's a student from Juilliard and he gets to come in and talk to us and help us like perfect our dance and teach us more ways to expand our dance and fix things and make it more fun. So right now we got um, three choices of music. And so we got to pick which music choice we wanted. And once we picked that, we had to make um, a short like eight count of dance movement. And after that, we got to sit down with him, show him what it was through Skype, and it was really fun, and we all got to like talk to each other, get to know each other. He went through and asked us all our names and like interesting facts about us. And then after that, he like really got into what it means and how the dance like can evolve better. And he talked about one of the lessons that we did, which was um, doing the weight balance. So we would hold each other's hands and we bend and lean. And
collaboration really lets us think differently because it's not just movement and dance, it's also thinking about it artistically and conceptually and you know, putting a concept behind the dance and following that and making our movement match that. Yeah, and then we've also learned how like we don't have to have like a concept behind our mm -hmm. dances. We can actually have an abstract dance and it just be about the movement and not really about a story, which is interesting.